Hi guys, it's Mr. Pharma. First and foremost, before talking about the pharma industry, I want to wish you all a happy and prosperous new year. I wish this new year be a healthy, wealthy, happy new year for you, your family and your friends. So moving on, welcome to our channel Pharma Portal. The channel focuses on the current trends in pharma and we will be discussing more health pharma related informations and guidances on a regular basis to guide our pharma professionals and students and many more. So welcome to our channel Pharma Portal, the pharma you need to know, share and grow. So today we are going to discuss on the topic overview of pharma industry in 2020. Why this topic in specific? We are stepping in a new decade. We have to know the basics of pharma before our pharma portal opens up with more deeper pharma discussions. This topic will give a gist of the current pharma industry and its shift towards automation etc. It will help anyone who is interested in the pharma line or interested into learning pharma as their subject and as a continuous profession. So let's move on. In order to know the pharma industry better, we must know what is the industry about, what are the main domains, what they deal with. So let's see three important definitions over here. The pharma industry. In simpler terms, you can say the industry deals with the drug discovery to selling of the drug to the patient. What is a pharma company? It is a commercial or a business unit licensed for the drug related stuff, especially for manufacturing. What is a CRO, a contract research organization? It in, in layman's term, it generally provides the research services to different pharma industry. So pharma industry is interlinked with contract research manufacturing services. The goal of the pharmaceutical industry is to provide drugs that prevent infections, maintain health and cure diseases. Whereas the scope is huge, let's see some of the key reasons why the pharma sector is blooming than ever. In the evolution, there are new disorders and new diseases ascending. There is a huge demand for need of cure. So the scope will be more than ever. The global pharmaceutical markets is worth around $12,004 billion as per the recent pharma report. North America is being the responsible for the largest portion of these revenues due to the leading role in the sector. Revenue share in 2018 was approximately 48.9%. Leading pharma companies come from US and Europe. In recent years, China and India has shown a good growth rate as well. The market is expected to exceed 1.5 trillion by 2023. In order to streamline the healthcare pharma system, we need the agency to monitor the pharma industry as this industry directly affects the global population. Hence, a need for regulations and monitoring important factors like drug safety, patents, quality and pricing etc. As these are the primary concern. Few of the major international regulatory agencies includes USA's FDA, Europe's EMA, Canada's Health Canada, Australia's TGA, Japan's Ministry of he Health and Labour Welfare and India's CDSEO. The major global pharmaceutical industry regions are classified as US region, Europe region, emerging market which is also called as ROW market, rest of the world. We have included India specifically as it holds a special value in the current trend and for the benefit of the budding pharma professionals. So let us see few facts on these markets. Here first US region, US dominates the pharmaceutical market both in the conception and development. It directly provides jobs move for more than 8,20,000 people and indirectly supports jobs for 3.5 million people. It's expected to grow at a healthy pace at around 7% CAGR in the next 4 years. Europe market meanwhile has a value of over 183 million euros and is the second biggest pharmaceutical market in the world with the Germany, France, Italy, UK, Spain as the top 5 countries. Largest markets in Germany with Largest market is Germany with around 48 million euros which accounts for 24% of the market. Europe accounts for 22% of the world's pharmaceutical sales and grows at 4% by 2022. Regions of emerging market consists of mainly the countries from Asia Pacific, Latin America, Eastern Europe, Africa and Gulf countries. Emerging countries grow in the rate of 5 to 8%. It is estimated that the emerging markets will account for more than 30% of the global market in 2022. India is the largest provider of generic drugs globally. India's pharmaceutical exports have reached around 
19.14 billion US dollars in the last year and it's expected to grow at a healthy pace of 15 to 20 percent CAGR over the next three to four years. The five main branches of pharmaceutical industries are the active pharmaceutical in ingredient industry, drug products industry, contract research and manufacturing services based industries, biotechnology and research and development based industries and drug marketing industry. In drug product industry, we have to understand the, the difference between a patented drug and generic drug. Patented drugs are companies that can develop these drugs through in-house research and licenses from other firms and then manufacture the drugs under licenses from the patent holders. Whereas the generic drugs are the companies sell off these off-patented cost-effective drugs at low prices using no specific brand name in order to serve the public. The major pharma industry is classified as two professional units, one being the technical unit, the another being the functional unit. The technical requires the pharma knowledge, whereas the functional doesn't need the pharma knowledge, but it needs the relevant domain knowledge for running the pharma company. The research and develop being the first and it has a sub classification of formulation research and development department, analytical research and development department, technological transfer team. Quality Assurance meanwhile has Corporate QA, System QA, Process QA. The Quality Control team has Chemical and Microbial QC and Packaging QC departments. Whereas the Regulatory Affairs teams have the Legal RA team and Drug or Biological Product RA team. And in Production it is generally Formulation and Screening and Packaging teams. Whereas the other teams involves like multiple departments such as Pharma Engineering, Warehouse, IT, HR, Finance and Administration etc. These department, other departments comes under the functional units. The contract or clinical research organization plays an important role in the pharma industry. There are multiple services offered by the CROs. Let us see some of the important departments in these CROs. Clinical operation. It involves in the drug development process from end to end from phase 1 to 4. PV department. PV is the science that addresses the adverse effects of any other drug related problems. Data management and statistics. They manage data for its users. Medical affairs. They provide primary scientific and medical support for the drug product. QA and QC. Ensures that the data are reported according to the standards. Regulatory affairs helps in the expediting the development of the products as per the health authority guidelines. Let us discuss the most important trend and technology that is causing a shift in the pharma industry in 2020. Cloud technology. Transferring and storing data is hectic and organizing is much harder. Cloud based technology supports it in much easier way and it helps in cost saving, time saving. And also it is very easy to adapt. Blockchain. Data privacy is the key here. Any patient related information is required to be confidential. Blockchain helps in storing and securely transaction of data to many stakeholders like hospitals, health and regulatory agencies. Big data. Data generated in the current era is huge. Many service provider companies do this as a service. They process the unstructured big data to a structured big data or structured data. 38% of the pharma giants believe this technology will impact the industry in the next decade. 4. Artificial intelligence. The major technology that is changing the global pharma is AI. Already most of the pharma giants have initiated and moved towards automation technologies. AI helps in many fields especially in finding drug biosimilars, researching drug compound structures, salt and polymorph screenings and patient distribution and applies data science methods in various clinical research activities. They use this methods such as machine learning and predictive analysis and NLP which is called as natural language processing programs. So look out for these four technologies and be prepared to upgrade your skills that's going to revolutionize the pharma world. The global top 10 therapeutic areas in the future and the present are number 1 oncology, anti-diabetic products, anti-rheumatic products, antiviral drugs, vaccines, bronchodilators, sensory organ drugs and immunosuppressants, antihypertensives and finally anticoagulants. These drugs generate revenue in high number. So watch out for these therapeutic areas in the future. The job opportunities in the pharma industry can be classified in roughly into two parts. One being the technical jobs, another being the market based job. The technical job requires pharma as an education or a background, whereas the market based job doesn't require pharma as an education background. It may require any degree or a 
master degrees or a diploma in a specialized field. So the technical jobs lists are the research and development department. There are huge number of jobs in R&D, quality control, quality assurance, regulatory affairs, technology transfer and production, clinical research and development, and pharmacovigilance, clinical data management, SAS, DAS. SAS involves statistics and DAS means data integration services, medical writing, patient advisor on legal departments, pharmaceutical engineering. These are the key technical jobs that are having a high scope in the current market field. Whereas the market based jobs involves like which have a specialization in MBA which mostly the departments like purchase, sales, supply chain management, HR, finance and accounts etc. In the previous slide, we have seen the job opportunities in the pharma industry. Now, let us see the top 10 highest paying pharmaceutical jobs. The, the pay grade may change according to the companies and the experience. So, here is the list of top 10. Clinical Research Physician, Clinical Research Associate, SAS and SAP Programmers, Biostatistician, Medical Science Liaison, Research and Development Scientist, Regulatory Affair Associates, Medical Writing Professional, pharmacovigilance officers, medical coding experts. So we have seen the overview of pharma industry 2020. We shall see more pharma topics in the upcoming videos. Thank you for watching this video. Hit the like button. Share this video to your friends and family who is interested in pharma and comment if you have any questions. More importantly, subscribe to our channel for receiving more video updates. See you in the next interesting video, a pharma portal. Mr. Pharma signing off.